Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more RimWorld returning to a no playthrough. And I just had the one event that I really don't like, and that is an infestation. So we have a bug infestation right here in this corridor here. Now, the fortunate thing for me is it's not actually within my base. Usually where it really gets bad is if it's in within your base. So if they were with, for instance, in this room over here rather than over here, then they'd be within my base in tight corridor, and honestly, in this area, they'd have a lot of cover too. So it'd be really hard to deal with them. But now they're out here, I've already got gun turrets out here, so they start getting engaged immediately, more or less. I am going to want to draft people, more or less, right away. I do want you to kind of just stop what you're doing. Now, I was restricting people to Area 1. I'm going to want to uh, modify Area 1, though, from what I remember. Yep, there we go. So we're just going to need to include this area. And that should be good enough. And now I think we need to draft. Now, unfortunately, Leia, one of the people I need to draft, is food binging right now. And the other person I would normally draft, R2-D2, has the flu. Now, she should have immunity now and should start feeling better, but she still has it badly enough that I don't know if I'm going to have her available. So when Leia is done with what she's doing, hopefully we'll get her available. Now, outside of that, we do not have really anyone that is a very capable fighter. Chewbacca and Han are pretty much useless. C-3PO and Ben have guns, but they're mostly just there for show. They're not particularly good shots, especially not old Ben, as he has cataracts in both eyes, and he only has a skill level of 2. And C-3PO has a skill level 4. She does have a passion for it. We may have a weapon that she could pick up here. Maybe the sniper rifle, even though she's a terrible shot and probably will never hit the broadside of a barn. Hmm. All right, you know what? I'll draft her just as a thing to do, but I'm not sure how involved she's going to get. Not as involved as Luke will get anyway. Now, Luke, I don't know how I'm going to set you up at the moment. Maybe just have you stand outside this door for now because you can get there quickly. These turrets are probably going to start engaging whether I would like them to or not. So, let's get an angle where we can see. There we go. Now we're, we're getting them at us. Fortunately, none of the big bugs are coming. Okay, that's starting to scare me a little bit. You know what, C-3PO? As much as he, you know you might be able to help here, I might have to undraft you just because I don't think I'm going to be able to pay attention to you enough. Okay. Now you need to run. Run more. Thank you. Oof. Okay. Well, we're going to probably lose our turrets. I'm going to have to go out a different door here. Hopefully they don't get through that wooden door too quickly here. What we might want to do is... Have somebody... Oh, 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 R2-D2. I, I need you. Um, go pick that, pick that up. Let's draft you, then tell you to do that. Okay. Um, on. You come over here and... Repair wooden door. Might not get there in time, but if you do get there, that would be helpful. Okay, there's one of the big boys. I don't think that turret's going to last long. Okay. Now, I don't know if they're going to keep going for this door. Or not. What we need to do is draw them over this way. Okay, R2-D2, you are drafted. Come over this door. I'm hoping that your character doesn't need too many things and isn't going to freak out on me. Alright, we're shooting things I don't really want to shoot here, but... 
These were we're getting shots off on these things. I'm gonna have to be careful here as I do have them spread out a little bit too much. Okay, Luke's gonna have to probably run here. But that's okay. What we want them to do is come after him. If they come after R2D2, I won't be so happy. You're gonna probably have her run now. Have her do a parting shot and then run. Okay, Leia, are you are you done being an asshole? Um I think what I'm gonna do now is actually undraft her and just have her do whatever. Because her joy is like really low and I don't like that. See if we can uh, get them coming the way we want them to. I think they're gonna probably get through that door. But we might be able to convince them to stop attacking it by attacking them here. Honestly, what I really want to do is attack the eggs. So if I can do that... That would be nice. Honestly, this is working out really well, because they just killed one. But they will slowly spawn more, so i got to keep that in mind. Okay. You know what we need? We need people to wake up and do things for me. So, Chewbacca, wake up and repair this door. Okay, and they're coming. That's what I wanted them to do. Go to the door. Or or not. Alright, well that works for me. If they're not gonna come, that that, you know, not too bad. And this is like, you know, most of their defenders at this point. Okay, one of our generators broke down. That's lovely. Okay, that should draw him. Okay, R2-D2. Hopefully at this point your joy is up so I can draft you. Get you over here. Okay, let's get going. We want to draw him into this turret. But he's not coming. Mad animal, a local iguana. All right, so we just have like 15 events happening at the same time. I mean, if it's going to let me just shoot these guys up, that works for me. They're bleeding out, so... I mean, the downside is these things are going to keep spawning. Okay, this isn't ideal because it's coming right for our 2D2, and they can get through this door, so... Okay, it... You know, it seems like it only really wants to aggro. I have to keep an eye on the iguana, though, just to make sure it's not coming for me. Oh, no, not an iguana! But... We're just gonna have to be patient here until we really get rid of the, the main threats. Alright, so it's gonna come for R2-D2s. So, yeah, it seemingly only wants to aggro... ...at the... this door. All right, so what we want to do here is just get close enough to shoot at the hive and start doing damage. Okay. Guess we fire at these things now. Okay, that's probably good enough. We're going to start running. If they aggro towards R2-D2, which it looks like they're about to, we'll switch off. But if they keep coming for me... Yeah, alright, so here comes the attack. We're gonna back off. Okay, they're coming for Luke still. I'm gonna wait for R2-D2, because I don't want... 
There we go. Another one down. I think a lot of them are, are getting injuries accumulated, so they're having a hard time dealing. Oh crap, the iguana. Told myself I'd watch out for it. And that iguana might cost me here. Alright, fortunately R2-D2 took care of it. Gosh damn it. I mean, they're not major injuries here, but... I think we, we go ahead and undraft Luke for now. This is uh, no longer needing to be a medical bed. And R2-D2 can probably handle this stuff now. Alright, come on gun turret. Just an iguana. Seriously? You're gonna let an iguana take you out? Fire at iguana. There we go. Dumb iguana. Alright, now it's time to go after the nest here. It might start spawning, that's why I gotta get after it. Fire. I am going to get Leia drafted here now, just because I need to get on this before it starts spawning more stuff. I can't deal with all this. As a matter of fact, I don't think we need restrictions anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and unrestrict everybody. Because the main threat should have been killed by now. Okay, I'm going to move up a little bit. So we start... Why, why can't you fire at it? There. Alright, we're just keeping an eye on this. Luke shouldn't be on... on... yeah. You should have a lower priority healing. I don't want to get too close to them because I don't know. Vision's not great over here, so we might not have good enough to see what's going on over here. So I'm staying kind of back. Okay. So Leia, you just keep shooting. R2-D2, you come over here. I'm going to go over this way so we've got good vision. Okay, it looks like there's nothing here, so... Okay, you fire over there. Okay, cut it out. You're going to shoot somebody on accident. And you can fire now. The upside, this gives people shooting track to practice, more or less. I'm gonna unforbid some of this. Okay, some more of our a warg meat has rotted away. Okay, Leia is done, so we'll on draft. Forty-eight percent. We're getting there. We're gonna have to rebuild a lot of this. The turrets and what have you. Almost down. Should kill that iguana before it goes mad. <laughs> this isn't as bad of a hive as other hives I've seen, so... It works out. 
Although this is taking a while. Should also supply me with food, because we should be able to eat pretty much everything here. Alright, not many more. Shoot it one more time. Shoot it one more time. Not like it's a small target here. It might be dark, though, in this uh, corridor. Now that I think of it. There we go. Now you can be undrafted and do whatever you want. Apparently what you want is to pick things up. Oh, you're just going to eat the uh, jelly? Alright, whatever. As long as you don't get food poisoning, I guess. We do have a broken down generator, so old Ben, wherever you may be, fix it. All right, well. Again, it wasn't so bad because it was out in the open. The The insect hive situation is a lot worse when they're within your base or in some kind of confined corridor because then it's so much harder to deal with them. Oh, we've got more... more mineable machinery here. All right, and I am also going to want to get on the rebuilding of these turrets because these are more or less our our main line of defense. So, sooner we get on that, the better. Considering how many rapid fire bad events we had, I think it's a good call to work on these immediately. Well, Ben, prioritize. I'm also tempted to have Chewbacca work on the other one. Just so that we have somebody building it. And I don't have to worry about it. Speaking of things I don't have to worry about. How are you doing? You're starving. Ugh. Alright, well, I don't care who does it. C3PO, are you around? We did treat you, right? Yeah, okay. Somebody, come over here and feed. Huh. Okay. Has to be somebody that can do doctor work. Uh, Chewbacca can. Luke can. Leia can. Okay, Leia. I don't know what you're doing, but get over here. There. Alright. Well, this, this base is just a mess. There's blood and guts and all kinds of stuff all over the place. Okay, Luke's up and about. Alright, well now we can start cooking. We got more warg meat rotting away, so that's going to allow us to put more meat in the fridge. More things in the fridge. Okay, a colony settler named Lubov Kefalo calls you from nearby. She's being chased. Uh, she's 73 years old. Screw her. Ignore the message. Oh, she is old Ben's mother. Well, I guess it was nice knowing her, but I, I don't need another colonist, and <laughs> I don't need attacked again. That's for sure, so... Uh, we're going to have to ignore that message. Uh, as much as we might be able to defend ourselves against these guys, I don't know. I mean, it's going to... Might have some issues with old Ben here. Or not. I guess not. Solar flare. Oh, lovely. See, that would have hit us just as we were being attacked. And screwed us. Because we would have been out of power. So, I'm glad I didn't do that, because that would have been a nightmare. Mm. 
Okay, so our big problem right now is that we can't cook because we don't have power. This is where I think production, maybe we do get a fueled stove in here. And we have old Ben over here. And you know what? What? I don't know. I just told him to prioritize. Uh, okay. Before I do that, what are we making this out of? Because I didn't pay attention to that. Let me take a look. Ah. Huh. So there is no way to make it out of anything else. All right, that's fine. Okay, now old Ben, can you get over here? And prioritize working. And then we'll uh, set up find meal cook job over here while the power is out. And Han is having problems. What is Han having problems with? Han, what are you having problems with? Very ugly environment, very hot. Well, it's hot because the air conditioning isn't working. And also, probably because you're wearing a parka, aren't you? Take that off. There you go. Okay. One forbid. Um, what are you going to go do? Well, I should take care of the very hot. More warg meat spoiled. And what we're going to do here, add a bill, going to be cook fine meal. Although it's a little late for that. I think. Um, Luke might still be doing it. There we go. Okay, so Wiley's going to leave. She may be Han's lover, but she's not sticking around. All right, we're getting a lot of meat rotting away here. It's probably because the refrigeration isn't working, which is no good. Luke actually went to bed. Yeah, there goes some more warg meat. Well, on the upside, when this is all over, we'll have uh, plenty of fridge space. There it goes. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this bill. Oh. Well, should have been due forever. But that's okay. We don't need the stove right now. But it's there in case we do. For the future, next time we have a blackout like that. Now, the idea of this room was to use it for production, not what we're using it for now, unfortunately, but... That's just kind of the needs that we uh, that we have at the moment are being filled by it. That's how we're, we're, we're going. Still need to set this stuff up. And I know not prioritizing it, it's going to cost me. I, I just get this feeling in my gut that I'm going to regret that at some point. All right. Well, we lost some meat, quite a bit of meat, but we make up for it by now having more storage space and more meat anyway because we've got all these insects to eat, more or less. And whenever we do end up picking up this in insect jelly, which I'm not actually sure if we have somewhere to put it. Oh, no, there we go. You could probably... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't even need this, so we can just deconstruct it. Okay, we got the corn crop coming in. It looks like Luke's gonna get have to get right back onto the cooking. As bridge spaces 
you know, corn takes up a lot of space and our potato crops coming in. We got all kinds of food. Uh, unfortunately, all of our plants in here died. So we'll be okay as far as food's concerned. I mean, we've got a entirely full fridge, but I mean, we're so busy that R2D2 hasn't been doing any of the 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 smelting or ooh, cargo pod. About time we had something good happen. Okay, what is it? Oh, yay, leather. We don't really need it, but we'll pick it up. More warg meat rotting away. That actually gives us storage, though, so... I hate when they prop the door open. Our fridge is not going to be able to refrigerate the whole room, guys. This is not where you store things. Unfortunately, he's pulling from anywhere but where this door is. Ugh. I may have to turn this on to simple meals and get... Get C-3PO on it. Just so we can start converting some of this food. Fortunately, she's drawing from things that are right next to her rather than elsewhere. But it still works out to give us storage, hopefully. Meat is actually a little bit on the low end. We still have a lot of this insect meat, but I'm a little bit concerned with how much is going on here. Yes, good job, Cal. Closed door? There we go. Unfortunately, apparently, cows can open doors, but they can't close them for us. All right, well, I think this is a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So, I think things are going pretty well for the most part. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and cancel this bill. Because we no longer... Well, I'll say that. Never mind. <laughs> About to say, oh, we don't know. We don't need to... We've got a, a, you know, the fridge is full, but, oh boy, look at all this. That is a lot of, <laughs> that is a lot of crops down there. Well, in any case, I, as I was saying, I think this is a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.